If you want, what you can also do is set out screen saver if your computer is idle for a certain period of time. So to set out a screen saver, what you can do is you can right click on your desktop and click on personalize right here. So once you go around on to personalize on the left side, you can go around on to lock screen right here. And here you can see screen saver settings. So if I were to go around and click on screen saver settings, then you have this option right here, as you can see. So right now the screen uh, saver is set to none. So uh, no matter how long it is, uh, the screen will not change out anything right here. But if I were to go around here, you can see that there are certain options right here. Let's say, for example, if you want bubble screen saver right here, you can go around and you can see the sample of the screen saver over here as well. So over here, you can see that the wait time is uh, one minute right here. So on resume, you can also display the logon screen for uh, security purpose as well. So let me just go around right here and uh, let's say I want the wait uh, to be two minutes. So if the computer is idle for two minutes, then what will happen is that the screen saver will start playing. So what you can do is you can go to settings right here and depending on the screen saver for bubbles, there is no settings, but for 3D text, you can see that there is setting right here. So let me just go around into bubble and if I were to go around and preview this, then you can see the screen saver is in action right here. So bubbles is going around and as you move the mouse, the screen saver, uh, saver will be out. You can go to 3D text over here and then go around over here, change out the text according to how you like. You can even choose the font as you like right here. Press OK and press OK. And what happens is that there you have the screen saver. You can go around, click on preview to preview it out as you can see right here. And as you move the mouse, what happens is that the screen saver um, is, uh, uh, ends and you can get back to the computer right here. So if your computer has to be turned on for some reason and you want to something to happen on your computer screen while you're away, then you can turn on the screen saver. So I'm just going to go around and press none and apply. And what happens is that the no screen saver will pop up if I were to do this. And that is how you can set up screen saver uh, inside of Microsoft Windows 11. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.